Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to you. Got the day right. How are, how are we all? Welcome, welcome back to the next part or part four of Let's Build the Ranch. <laughs> about that my inner demon flopped out i think it's because we are approaching spooky month and it's one of my favorite times of the year and he just needed to be set free just for this introduction today i hope that it did scare you i won't lie <laughs> um hello how are we all today welcome 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 my loves we're on part four. We're on part four of the bazaar. We're going to be moving in the two last characters today that you guys have made. I love them. I can't wait to introduce you to them in a second. Um, Tomorrow, I'm bringing out another part of this. I'm having too much fun. I had a video planned for tomorrow, but I'm actually going on my friend's podcast tomorrow on Twitch. Biggest Benis. I will leave a link down below to his Twitch um, channel. I'm going to be on his podcast tomorrow just talking all things gaming and streaming and video creation so if you guys want to come along i'd be very appreciative if you could come and support me on there because i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> don't know why because ben is such a lovely human i shouldn't be nervous but if you do want to come along you know where to find me the link is down below 6 p.m bst i should be on um so yeah tomorrow i just want to run away of my creative freedom and i'm having too much fun with this bizarre build so I'm going to carry on doing this and then the speed build is coming out on Friday. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into game and I will introduce you to the next two sims moving in. First sim moving in is Yvette the Acrobat. Um, love the sim. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. This is done by Kiana Ali. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, description. I made her as a teen, but you could always age her up, which I think I might do. When we do, like, a little Let's Play moment, I might give her a birthday and the, like, the whole circus cast gives her a good old, good old birthday bash to age her up to a young adult. I kind of like that. Yvette comes from a strict Nigerian family. Her mother insisted that she take gymnastics from a young age and her father forced good grades and church every weekend since he was the pastor. Yvette's father had a strict mindset that children should not should be seen and not heard. Since Yvette first watched Transformers, she knew she had a soft spot for women, but was but was conflicted with her sexuality. Now, I love this storyline. I'm thinking you're thinking of Megan Fox. And I can totally see the justification in that. So I love having a lesbian sim in this cast. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I cannot wait to move her in. She is a master chef. She is also active outgoing and then we can pick the trait for the last one once we've done the little let's play part of this circus which i can't wait for it's gonna be really exciting but yes thank you so much kiana guys you can go and download it off the gallery um but yeah love her and next up is the strong man we've been wanting a strong man and i really fell in love with him i did actually may have changed a few things about him i hope you do not mind sphinxy jane has made magnus martinez i love the name as well magnus um, I actually got rid of his tattoos and I gave him some body hair and I've deepened his skin tone a little bit more as well. Um, just to fit in with my kind of like vibe with the storyline and stuff. But I love him. I think he's lovely. Anyway, Magnus was always interested in being fit because, you know, sex. He was the standout in any athletic activity he was in. One day he was noticed by an agent for the boxing champ of the region. He became his, sp he became his sparring partner. That is until an injury ended his career. Now what? All he had was his abs and strength. Down and out, he stumbled into Strangerville, went to the circus where he noticed they had no strongman. A circus without a strongman? Aha! Loved it. I remember, that was really cute. I like that storyline that he's kind of a down and out boxer and he's kind of gone down the road of um, being a strongman. So yeah, I love it. Let's get into game and I'll show you kind of them in real life. This body hair, by the way, is my favorite, but it is a piece of custom content, but I just think he needed some body hair and we don't have that in The Sims 4 for some stupid reason. I never ever understand why we don't have body hair. Um, so this is from Lumia Lovers Sims. I will leave a link down below to that as well. If you do wish to go and download this body hair, it's the, my favorite Sims 4 body hair for men and for women um, in The Sims 4. So yeah, he's obviously showing off his... Um, <laughs> His muscles, but Yvette's not having any of it. Look at her face. She's like, um, what are you doing? 
what are you doing? I am gay. Please go away from me. <laughs> but I love it. And I've gave him a different moustache as well. I forgot to say that. Has he got like a gap in his tooth? He has. I love that. Love that. Just that little bit of detail. That little gap in the tooth. Absolutely love it. So yeah, guys, these are the two new characters moving in to make this circus cast complete. Absolutely complete. I'm here for it. So I didn't change anything from last time. Look, he's just fed up with life. Absolutely fed up with life. <laughs> I got them in here for the screenshot. But um, yeah, we're going to carry on doing out here today. Carry on like doing the whole kind of uh, communal area. I want to add in like a washing line, I think. I want to add in some, maybe some more like litter. But I don't want this place to look too littery. Maybe just a few pieces from um, the eco lifestyle like debug areas just on the edges of the fences and stuff so here and there. I don't want this place to kind of look too literary. I wouldn't imagine they're a kind of literary bunch, really, to be honest with you. Um, where can we put a washing line? Let me have a little vibe check down here. I think a washing line would look quite good here, actually, considering that they've been here for quite a while. And I'm also going to concentrate on a bit more landscaping today, so a bit more grass around like the caravans and stuff, because they supposedly have been here for about 10 years now. So they're kind of a permanent fixture circus here. So I want to make that a bit apparent. I really do. Anyway, clothesline. There we go. Stunning. Um, We're going to flop you here. We're going to flop you. I wish we could have smaller clotheslines in the UK. Some of us have got like the circle ones. Um, I would love to see some, like maybe some of them. Rather than this big ass clothesline that we've got. Because it's always just a pain in the ass to try and squeeze this in. I don't know if anybody else thinks that way, but I think it's a pain in the bum to try and squeeze things in sometimes. Really doing them up for it. How are you all today? How are you, my darlings? I'm a little bit tired. Won't lie to you. And it, it's not because I was up until two o'clock in the morning watching Ratchet on Netflix. Oh my God. It's the new series with Sarah Paulson. Um, I think it's based on the nurse from uh, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. I could be wrong on that, but Nurse Ratchet, I, I don't know. It might be. I'm probably wrong. But is there anybody else out there that's watching it? Sarah Paulson is an absolute goddess. Like, oh, if I was straight, she would be one of my perfect women, I think. She's absolutely beautiful and she's not straight either. So, it's, it's, so we're kind of both conflicted there, darlings. Kind of both conflicted. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's any of you guys out there watching it. I know a few peeps in my on my Twitch stream, they're all watching it and stuff. And I thought, right, let's give it a go. And I'm so glad that I bloody did because it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, right. We've still got some spaces here where we could put like objects to like um, help them pass the time and stuff. Maybe some like activities and skills. Let's have a look. Um, let me pull a few bits out. Give me one second. So I've pulled out a few pieces here and there. Not too much. I think we're going to start doing this together. But um, a few of these planters, like the vertical planters, a little bee box. I think I would probably see Mystique being a bit more of the gardener. I would probably see her being a bit more of a gardener, like in touch with nature and stuff. So I might put these outside of their part. Um, a basketball hoop. I think Magnus, forgot his name. Uh, I think he would be a bit more of the basketball player. One of these like horseshoe thingamabobs. Um, and also through the fr uh, front here, I've put out these because we're going to be doing like a little food court area out, out the front. As we said, we wanted some of those like stalls to kind of be here. Um, and then we'll leave this area free for kind of like activities for like kids and stuff then. So, so yeah, we'll make a start on this now. Um, I'm going to pull this all the way down so we won't be able to see aesthetically what we're doing to show. I just don't want the camera to be jumping around us too much. Now... This is obviously Jenny and Constance's area uh, or caravan. So I think they would probably just like somewhere to sit outside in the sunshine to be honest, and take in the rays. But again, I want things to look kind of like movable, packable, that kind of vibe. One second, I'm going to sit on my legs. In fact, maybe using like an old sofa out here could look pretty cute in that like peachy pink color. Maybe it's something they found in a skip. And they decided to utilize it and have it to chill outdoors on. Because um, the main areas of the caravan, I'm just going to mainly use them for sleeping. They'll have a kitchen. They're not going to have a living area as such inside. 
because most of their living is going to be outdoors because the climate here, they can actually do that. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, right. I do need to get these up because I do want to see aesthetically what we're doing here for the minute. Yeah, that looks kind of cute. <laughs> that looks cute. So lots of pink out here. I have got like one of those little um, wind chime things and a little bird table for them. But I think like maybe like a nice row of flowers down here. Um... Oh, oh, this would fit the vibe. Yeah, do you have like a pinky tone? No, but you've got green. That goes quite well. Yeah, we'll put one of these little bath things down here. Yeah, yeah I like that. I like that a lot. I do. I really do. And then I'm going to <clears throat> get some flowery vibes. Can I maybe use this one? Do you have like a white and pink? You got white and white. That's kind of pinkish. That's not too bad, actually. I'm going to size it down, maybe. Let me have a little look at that. Yes. Yeah, we'll size it down. We'll push it up to there. Because <clears throat> what I want to do here is maybe put a little side table next to the sofa. Or I could put a, like a coffee table in front of it. Like an outdoor like crate coffee table. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's green as well. Look, I like pink and green together. Oh, is that going to burn that? I hope not, so I will size it down. So it looks like old crates out the front there. And I'm just going to whiffle that just at a bit more of an interesting angle. There we go. Stunning. Stunning and stunning. And I will turn the table that way as well now. Oh, gorgeous. Can I still... I don't think they'll be able to get to that though. Hopefully they will. Oh God, camera's off. Camera's off. She's on one. She's absolutely on one. Right, and then I do want an awning here. This is going to be a little bit difficult because a lot of them don't really make... Oh, they would go well on... Oh, that colour really goes there. Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck off camera. That does really go there. Oh, I'm kind of feeling that. Maybe I should do them on all of them. But the only problem is trying to fit these vibes onto the other ones. Eee, that's not going to work there. Oh, that one does. I kind of like that. Yes. Yeah, just again, more detail. Is that up a little bit high, that one? No, it's that one there. One needs to be up a bit higher. There we go. Is that right? Uh, it will do. It will do. When, again, we're not striving perfect. for perfection. <laughs> that one really suits this one. Really does. And thank you guys for letting me know about like Airstream. I knew it was something like that or Jetstream. It was one of them. Um, About those like shiny aluminium looking trailers. And uh, my friend Steve said there's one in Debug, which I'm very interested to have a little peek at actually. But I don't think I've got any room for it really now. But um, thank you, Steve. I appreciate you. Really do. Really do, my darling. Um, Okay. Okay, I'm getting the vibes. Getting the vibes. That's cute. I like that. Again, we're going to do some more landscaping and stuff. But I just want each kind of like caravan to have something to reflect their characters on the outdoors. Now, if I can actually find a better place for this. um, Where would I? Oh, maybe there. Maybe like in front of the van there. Yeah. No, that's fine. That kind of separates off. The parking area then as well. I'm just going to whiffle them a little bit more organically. Just a little bit more organically. There we go. Stunning. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going to keep this here. Going to keep that there because I do want this area. I think with um, Yvette, I think she would have to have a yoga mat out here. Being an acrobat. I want her to have some kind of vibe here. So maybe a nice yoga mat out the front. Where she can come and do it. Practice a bit of yoga. We'll do it in that like. Yeah in that colour. That's nice. But I will put it in that orientation over in the corner there. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Okay. And again maybe just a nice seating area for these guys as well. Uh I wouldn't imagine they'd sit separately too often, but they have got that option. So maybe a couple of like armchairs out the front here. Oh, maybe some of these because they look kind of handmade -y, don't they? Yes. Let me have a little goose fruit just in case. You never know. 
Yeah, no, we'll use these. And I'll do just... Oh, uh, should I change the colour? I mean, I really like that texture, so I think I'll stick with these two. Again, they've just got a little spot to come and chill out now. Lovely. He's got a spot to play his basketball. Absolutely gorgeous. I will do some... Oh, for fuck's sake. I will do some window boxes here, though. Or maybe just one long one <clears throat> in grey. Oh, yeah. No, I like that. We'll put it down a little bit more, though. Oh, that's cute. Yes, I'm for it. Very much for it. Very much for that. And I think we'll do the same here, but I'll use the maybe the base game pink ones. Or is that going to be too pink? Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We have got other ones, but I'm thinking this one's probably... Yeah, the vibe we're going to go for. I'll put two there. Oh, stunning. Stunning. Not going to put any flowers on the boys because they've already got um, sunflowers at the front. They've already got sunflowers at the front. Okay, there we go. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now I'm going to move all of these over because I did say that this is going to be kind of Mystique's thing. Um, so I'm thinking about putting them... And changing the colour to black just to match him with her vibes a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a third one on there, am I? I might be able to if I just whiffle them a bit closer. Whiffle them a bit closer like that. Gorgeous. And then what I'll do is just change the tone of these to black. There we go. Yes. Oh, they're cutting into that bloody trim look. I bet you, any money, 25 people notice that. <laughs> um, it's actually cutting into the trim. <laughs> I don't care. Okay? Don't care. <laughs> and I'll put a couple of these hives around on this bit here. Let me see if I can change this to a bit more of a darker aesthetic as well. Oh, I can. I'll just do one. We'll just do one little hive there. Maybe for like skin products and stuff she might make or something. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. We're just going for a bit of a vibe. Okay, and here, I think what I'm going to do is do like a little dining table for two here and give them their own barbecue just in case they want to get away from them. Just have their own little romantic time together, you know. So, I think what I'm going to do, my loves, is do a parasol moment with the metal one. No, we'll do wood just so it looks lighter again to be able to carry away. And we'll do it in, can we do a grey aesthetic here? No, I prefer the black. Oh, Christ. Christ. Yes, like that. And then I'm going to put a couple of cheeky chairs. Just cheeky chairs, though. We don't want anything other than a cheeky chair here. Um, Again, needs to look kind of like you could move them. Oh, these might work. Have you got a black and red? Well, you've got a... You've got a brown and red. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. So, again, just somewhere where they've got their own little spot. To come and chill out by. And I'll give them their own little barbecue. Just here. And we'll do that in red. Bright red. Matching with our aesthetic. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm here for it. Yeah. Cute. Right, let me just have a little scan through. Yeah, I think we've got enough, like, activities and stuff out here. Without going, like, OTT. So what I'm going to do is just start doing a bit more detailing here now. Starting with... Oh, we're going to have to get rid of you, darling. I might just plop you somewhere like there. There you go. Gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just let's get some detailing going. Let's see if I can get some of that rubbish flowing. Where's that? Um, can I like go in... What, 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 what am I doing? Into there. And just a few of these kind of, yeah. I don't want to go OTT. I don't want them to be known as litterers. But I will do a couple of those little cheeky details. Maybe not on this side though, because this is where patrons are going to be walking past. So maybe I'll just put a few more around like... Can I like skip that out? Eh, not really. I'll put some just behind the boys' caravan. The boys. The Chester brothers. Yeah. And maybe a little bit more here. Just a tiny little tad, you know. There we go. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough rubbish. We don't want any more rubbish. I've had enough. Right. And then what I'm going to do. If I got live edit on, I have. Is go around. 
and start terraining this there. Have we got what grass are you using in this world? You haven't really got grass. So what I might do is just make it look a bit arid, a bit dry. Um, I'll use one of these. Because that does look like a dry bush. Oh, I'm pressing the Windows key. Shit. No, nope, it's done. It's okay. That was not the alt key, and that was the Windows key. For goodness. Does anybody else do that? I know I've asked this before, but I'm always interested to sort of see. Oh, I might do a cheeky bit of ivy on the uh, on the fencing. Can I size that down to a decent... Oh. Not really. <laughs> Can't even bloody see it, my love. And if it's one more, it's too high. And I'm not going into the tool mod to size that down. I just... I can't with the tool mod. I love it. It's great. But I just... I just find it too... I don't know. I just can't... It's not easy to use for me. Like, in the way that I build... So I just always find it a pain in the ass going into live mode to just to change something. So I never, I never do. I never do. It's not to say that it's not a good mod though. It's a great mod. But it's just, yeah. It's just not for me, darling. It's really in. Right. Yeah, one more of these. Or one of them. Is that too high? It certainly is, my love. But I'm just going to flop that around there and plant that like there as well. It's all in those little details, darlings. I'll do that in a few spots, but you get where we're going with it. Right, let me find some uh, dry grass. I'm going to pull out a few bits from Debug. Give me one second. So yeah, here we go. I've kind of found quite a few little like dry grassy, like detail-y bits, which we're going to use, I think. Just placing... I don't like that one there. That looks weird. Um, Just placing them down around the edges of the, uh, of the fence and in between the caravans and stuff. I'm actually going to put some more festoon lights around here as well and probably link the caravans up with festoon lights. I think that would look really cute. So we'll do that in just a second as well. But um, but yes, um, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, guys. I'm going to be furnishing Sheila 2.0 um, after Twitch, the Twitch chat show rudely said that Sheila was ugly. We've gave her a bit of a makeover and she's very similar to one of these. Very similar to one of these. So we're going to be furnishing her tonight and maybe doing a little bit of gameplay. It's almost like a driftery challenge kind of thing that we came up with. Um, one of my mods, Hello Enid, um, she said, why don't you do like a kind of drifter challenge, but you get money by going around and kind of revamping existing houses or like viewers' houses. And I was like, that's such a good idea. So I'm going to be doing that. Going to be doing that. So we're just going to make up our own rules as we go along, really. Um, with Noah, who's an absolutely beautifully gorgeous sim that I made. Um, and I love him. I really love him. So that's what we're doing tonight. So again, 7 o'clock. Oh, Christ, that rock's big. 7 o'clock PST. If you're more than welcome to come. Don't be afraid to chat in the chat. Everybody is lovely, as you can imagine, with this community. Um, but if you just want to lurk, you can. It's up to you, my darlings. It's absolutely up to you. Do what you like. Um, I want some more stones. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but I really do. I want some more stones. Maybe like this sort of size around here. Let me have a little look at that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Just a couple like that. Stunning. Um... Do I want to do any more, like, here? I might put a few in there, actually. Not big ones, just little tiny ones. Oh, you can't really see them. You can't really bloody see them, darlings. So, no, we won't. Uh, I want that, like... Oh, that's a bit better. Yes. So, the grass is, like, sort of growing out of it. There we go. Yes. Okay. Okay, right, what we're going to do is flop these festoon lights. Stunning. And I'm going to, like, sort of link them up with the caravans, hopefully. I don't want to really have to use the, like, standalone stick. So if I can, like, link them in somehow, uh, we can have the first one coming from the basketball post and going into, not too into the caravan, but into there. Oh, Christ. Christ. Um, like to 
Maybe we do need that post. Maybe we do. But maybe we don't. Is that gone under there? Oh, it will. But I need to get it in a better position. So what I'm going to do is get this into default. Where are you? I hate, hate the pivot point on these. I find them so difficult to use. I think it's like the trick is to go closer. There we go. And then another one there. Where's that one coming out? Oh, that's covering the fucking door. You bastard. You absolute bastard. Right, and that one to there. And then I'm going to link this and go over the table. Hopefully I can get over the table. Where are you? Oh, you... Oh. I'll move the table. I'll move the table. That would be a lot easier. There we go. Put the table underneath there. This one is now going to link around to maybe like there. And then this one is going to go there and just maybe... Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah, oh, you bastard. You absolute bastard. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad, but it's going to be poking through in the indoors. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it is slightly, but shush. Uh, let me see if I can perfect it a bit better. Just at the tippy tippy. There we go. Oh, that's right into the door. It doesn't make sense. Right, I'm going to put one more in because it's being an asshole. Right, we're going to go here. And I'm going to connect. Oh, that's right in the stairs now. <sighs> there. Okay. And you, my darling, are you... Oh, that's quite long still. I'm going to have to get the post out. I'm going to get one more post out. Oh, it's gone through the fence. Goodness sake. There. Right. That will bloody do. Now, where's this post? Like, why can't you just have just put it with this object, you know? Like, so we could have easy access to it. What was it from again? I think it was from something weird, like the toddler stuff pack. Yeah, weird. Um, packs all the way down. Toddler post stunning. There we go. Let me just. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, that looks cute. I kind of need to carry this on to their side. No, I don't. I'll use like solar lamps out here. I think they'd be all bougie. I think they'd have some solar lamps outside. Because they're absolutely bougie. Right. Stop sitting on my legs now. And use the ones that look like they're kind of solar. Yeah, like, oh, is that? That's debug. I don't want debug. I want these ones. So we'll do a couple of these. One there, one there. And one there as well. Gorgeous. Yeah, they'd have their bougie solar power. They would. Definitely would. Definitely would indeed. Um... And I think here, I'm going to put a rug here. I'm going to put a little outdoor rug underneath of these chairs here. Um, maybe it needs to look a little bit battered. So where's that one from uh, the Star Wars pack? Let me just filter it and get it much easier. Like this. I know they're tiles, but what other colours do you come in in the kind of ruined vibe? Not those. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, kind of prefer that one. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, cute. Um, I think this area is kind of coming together. Let me have a little look at night. I bet it's lovely at night. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think that's going to be the screenshot today, maybe. Oh, no, because I need to... I like showing off the characters in the screenshot. But maybe I could show them off here. Who can say? Who can say? Okay, well, let's get round to the front and we're going to start doing the little like activity areas and the little food court area as well. So first up the food court area, I'm going to flop one there. I've used a mixture of different ones. I wanted them to kind of look again, like they can be towed away or, um, I don't know, put in the back of a lorry. But um, yeah, you're probably all thinking, well, nothing's going to be able to fit in these lorries, but we're not looking for that much realism, darling. This is The Sims after all. I had someone comment on the fact that you've not got enough tra um, vans for the trailers now. I'm just like, oh, shush. Absolutely shush. <laughs> so I just ignored it. <laughs> I haven't got time for that. I really haven't. Right. And then this. And then another one here. I'm using these as kind of like 
pretending that they're almost like the crates that they've kind of like put on the floor to kind of makeshift, make it like a boardwalk kind of thing. Kind of like that idea. So we're going to use them all the way along here. Plus, I want to get some picnic tables here um, for sure. And somebody said as well, and this is such a good idea, is use this around the town. So like on some of the like uh, pubs and stuff, like so they're like advertising the circus. Definitely doing that. That is That was such a creative idea. So yeah, that is happening. That is happening for sure. All right, we'll do that to there. Oh, we're not going to have enough here. Not going to have enough. It's going to go a bit... Oh, well. That'll do. That's fine. So that kind of vibe there. Now I want to get some picnic benches out here. Again, want them to look kind of like you could pack them away. So maybe they have got a fold out one, if I'm remembering right. But yeah, like this look. But the colorways in this are a bit... I don't know. It's the circus, isn't it? So maybe I'll use a few of these out the front here. Oh! I didn't mean to do that, darling. Um, I was trying to change the colour. Um, maybe uh, an orange. A little orange number. And then maybe... I don't like that colour. Oh, maybe we'll have to do it. Yeah. So somewhere where they could just come, sit, have a bit of food. And I think I'll do a few more of those festoon lights around here as well. Just maybe like four, if I can rope them around. I, w I might have to shuffle these. Uh, in fact, if I can move this one a bit more into here, like so. Whiffle that one up to there. That's better. It's just a bit more central then. And then whiffle that one to there. And the same there. And it kind of circles. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yes, yes, yes. And we don't really have to move these now either, which is stunning. So I might have to move that bit. Oh, no. I want to put that there because there's snap points there. I'm going to put a couple of couple of chairs. And then here, what I'm going to do is put a bin. A bin. Maybe this one. Is this like a debug object? It is. Yeah, I want to use. The, there we go. This one here. And I'll actually put a little pile of, pile of rubbish out here. Just a little bit. Oh, not that excessive, darling. Just a little smidgen of rubbish. In fact, we'll put a bag there. And I'll just do a slight scattering. Where's that smaller one? Is it this one? There we go. Just a slight scattering just behind here like that. Because we know what people can be like. We really do. Yeah, that looks cute. I like that. I do. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put this fence. No, can I? The line maker. There we go. Um, I'm just going to wrap this around here just so people know that they're not allowed to go into this area. And then I'll go forward like that as well with it. There. And the same on this side, my love. How far was I? You were right to the edge, darling. So go there and there. Is that right? That one goes right in. I prefer seeing the end of it kind of. Excuse me. Yeah, like that. That's better. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that too. <laughs> I'm going to do another entrance here. But I think I might size this up. Sorry if you can hear snoring. Blue is on one. He's in the background, by the way. He says hello. He does. He says hello. Um, I'm going to move that a little bit forward there. Cool. Yes, this is giving me vibes. Okay. And then this is obviously going to be the activity area for kids. So we're going to get... Well, not just for kids, but I want lots of games and stuff out here. Can we get like a... No, that looks stupid. Let me go and find some things and bits and bobs and stuff and things and bits and bobs. So I've pulled out a few little objects and I've also put these two here for the minute. We're going to... I'll tell you about that in just a sec. So, yeah. Just a few little objects for them to like have a bit of fun with. Bubble blower. We're going to make this look a bit nicer in a minute. Obviously, I wanted the water slide out here too. Again, all of this looks like it needs to be packed away because, as I said, this is probably the area the cars kind of come out of. So they would have to clear this beforehand. But these two here, I was thinking about making these into shipping containers um, that they've got. Um... I'm unsure how we're going to make it look underneath just yet. I think I want them to almost look like they're on top of some bricks. 
I'll try and find like a pile of bricks somewhere. I don't think we've got any, but I'm going to have a little look for some. Um, one of them I'm going to make into like a little arcade. So I think I'll just put two of these in there. Um, obviously stairs up to the frontage. And then this one here, maybe like a bar, like an adult bar. So the, bar, the adults can come and get a drink after the circus or before the circus or something. I thought that was quite a cute idea. So I'm going to use the shipping container detail on them. I'm going to do one in a bright yellow. And then I'm going to do the other one in a bright red. Stunning. Um, flooring. We'll use the shipping container flooring. Is that because why not? Um, is it in metal? Uh, where are you? There you are. There you are. <laughs> I said that really weird. <laughs> not all the way across, darling. Just to there. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then we'll do the red on this side. Gorgeous. And then the red on the inside here. Um, trim wise, we use the same sort of trims. Hopefully, oh, they haven't got a yellow one. Damn you. But I can find something. Oh, maybe I could use these. Oh, they don't come in matching swatches to <sighs> Sims, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, can I? Is the trim going to fit on? Oh, I forgot. But what am I doing? Is the trim going to fit on this at the top? No, it's not. I think what I need to do is make it register as flooring on top. And then... And then um, put the trim on, maybe. So I need to go back into floorings. Yellow. There we go. And then red. Cool. And then I can maybe put the trims on now. Um, yeah, I can. Right, so that one's okay. That's not the perfect colour, but we're going to use it anyway. I'm going to keep that one on the bottom, just in case the stairs will cut into it quite weirdly. And then maybe orange on top of this one. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's giving me vibes. Give me absolute vibes. So I'll do an orange one down the bottom here. Okay. And then feel thoughts were of doing like... Oh, they've got yellow stairs. I didn't realise that. Perfect. Like a yellow kind of stair there. And then maybe one on the other side as well. Just so it's like an in and out kind of vibe going on. And the same with these. But they're not going to have red. So I might just have to go for green. Complimentary. Eh, maybe black. Black's better. There we go. And there. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to go and try and find some bricks or something that I'm going to make it look like these are kind of stacked on top of. Give me one second. So I ended up using tires. So health and safety. We don't know her here. Um, she's gone. I just thought this was quite cute, actually. I liked the vibe that these are kind of stacked on top of tires. Maybe the tires are full of concrete. Who can say? But I just thought it fit the vibe of it quite nicely. I do like that. I do. I do and do and do. I do indeed. I really do. Okay. Um, I'm going to maybe change the colour of these up a bit. Maybe a bit of orange instead. Yes. Yeah, I think orange. We'll put these like to the side like here. Stunning. And I'm thinking of maybe adding in some kind of mood. Oh, maybe some neon lights in here actually. Maybe a couple of neon lights. Um, if I can get the correct ones. I want, the, yeah, the Moschino ones. But I'll change the colour of them in live mode. For maybe like red and orange or something. Instead of pink. And then the bar area. Um, do you know what would look good here actually? A couple of those like non-slip mats. Um, from Dine Out. Yeah, like these. Maybe I could just do a row of them. Oh, no, you can't because of size. But I can do it to like there. Yes. Yes, that's giving me vibes. So, yeah, a cute little, like, um, arcade area. Yeah, I'm for that. Very for that. And then this one here will make it to, like, a little adult bar. Where the adults can come and have a little drink if they wish. What bar shall we use here, though? I probably want something like this. Wouldn't I? Yeah, that's quite fun. And the blue kind of matches in really nice with the yellow as well. So I think we'll do the blue one there. Yeah, that's cute. And some bar stools. Some bar stools for the top. And maybe I'll go a bit more in with the blue. Or shall I do yellow? We'll do yellow. Is that the right bar stool? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be a nice vibe here. 
yeah, we'll put them all the way along there as well. Stunning. And then in here, I'll use the neon signs, but the like debug ones with all like the cocktail pictures on. I forgot. I forget where they are. I didn't pick my nose then, by the way. It's very itchy. Don't know why. Again, I'm recording. Um, no, they're pointless. Uh, let me find them. Give me one second. So, yeah, I found them, put them behind. Also using the uh, the um, kind of drink shelf from Dine Out. And I just put a couple of these plants in here as well, just to give it a bit of a like a, a flare. Now, my thoughts were, I've put a little half wall on these. Hear me out. I'm going to put these on. And then what I'm going to do is do a bigger, how big is that? Yes. Just for some, like, maybe some signage. Mm, I shouldn't have put that wallpaper on first because you know what The Sims does. You know? I'm thinking something like that. Make it look a little bit more... Je ne sais quoi bleu. You know? It's just got to be done, darlings. And... Oh, for God's sake. And the trim at the top. Not going to get any matching colours for this. So I'm going to just do them white. No, not white. Grey. Not grey either. So... Uh, Blue. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then orange there. Stunning. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I really don't like that blue one. Green. Doesn't look green to me. That will do. That is fine. And then here, I'm going to put you and maybe size you up one. Oh, perfect. Put that there for drinkies. Trying to work with this camera here. And then up here, have they got like a gaming sign? Um, let me find something. There we go. I just used the sword from um, Get Famous. I just thought that kind of looks quite gamery. Oh my God, this camera. Um, but yeah, I think this is where we're going to leave it today anyway. We've kind of like got everything in. I still need to finish up this area a bit more, but we'll do that tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll finish up this outdoor kind of like activity area or space. And then we'll move on into the actual main event itself. Uh, if you've got any ideas, guys, I haven't seen many ideas from you yet of what to do on the inside. Uh, then let me know because I would really love to hear from you. I don't, I don't know how we're going to like put the seating or anything. So come on, get your, get your ideas flowing, my loves. I would be very interested to sort of see. I don't know how the hell we're going to do a trapeze or anything, but... But yeah, it's definitely coming along. It definitely is. And I'm very much here for it. Thank you so much for coming today, my loves. Um, I've had fun. I've had fun. This, this build is definitely coming along rather nicely indeed. Again, make sure to give me some ideas for the interior and what to do. Like a little blue there. Blue? What's this? <laughs> Bless him. But um, yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow with the final part. The final part of this one. Um... But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Let's have a little chat in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.